G'day and welcome back to Dark Silly Gaming and our Let's Play series here in Western Australia. Okay, we are back at it again. <clears throat> it's almost the end of our working day though. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're just going to send our two class tractors here out and uh, set up the bed nut cultivators and get ready to cultivate our field. Now, we have the cotton harvesters uh, continuing on with their harvest down there on field 9 all the way down there. Uh, we did obviously finish seeding field 2, this field here directly to our left now. Um, so that has all been uh, seeded ready to go with canola. We have finished obviously the line work over here which is where we're heading to now. And what we are going to do is we're going to set these guys up and get them running around the field as well. Now, I am gonna run these two guys on course play, and uh, so we're gonna set those up and get them off and running as quick and as efficiently as we can. So we're gonna pull in here to the field, We will unfold this guy. Now these are a nice big cultivator as you can see. So it shouldn't take these guys too long to get this field done. And we're just going to stop the other guy from following us. All right, so we're gonna set up the course play course now. So again, just as a bit of a recap, uh, so we're gonna set for uh, field work. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna select our field. We're gonna select field 13. Headlands, well let's do two headlands, it'll be quite wide, 18.2 meter working width per, what's that, so that'll be 36 meters. So we're gonna do two tools, uh, two headland passes gives us a, what, 140 meter headland, uh, that should be more than sufficient. Um, bypass islands we shouldn't have to worry about, uh, and that will be about it. Right, so we are going to generate the field course and this will take some time most likely. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And waiting some more. Now it does take a bit of time to calculate the courses. So if, if you actually are doing this yourself and you find that it tends to pause for a bit, then don't worry about it too much, just let it go on. And as you can see, it's now finished that. So two headlands, and then we're going to do um, some some very, well, basically it's uh, east-west tracking to a degree. But anyway, all right, so we're gonna come back out of there. We are going to make sure that we have everything set correctly. Um, he is going to be on the left. Now, make sure all that's okay. Come over here. We're going to start course at first waypoint. What we need to do first, I need to save this. This is going to be field 13, dual culti 18 meter. Right. Save the course. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to send this guy off. So we're going to first waypoint, drive course, <clears throat> and off he goes. All right, and he should be quite happily trundling off and all well and good. Now, let's have a look at the field status just to make sure everything is okay. So we've got it as cultivated, which is fine. And uh, where are we? Doesn't need lime. There is some sections here that we missed with the lime, but that's okay. We, we won't worry about that too much. But all in all, it's now being cultivated and uh, that'll all be well and good. All right, so what we're now gonna do is set up the second guy here. and then he'll do basically exactly the same course. All right, so we're going to load the course. So now we go down here and we go 
F13 dual culti 18 meter. Load that course. We're going to make sure we're in the right working mode, which we are now. Um, that's okay. We're going to make sure we are set to the right, which we are, because the other one was set to left. We are going to turn off the entire path row there. And that is basically it. So what we are going to do now is we're going to set that to the first waypoint. And we're going to tell him to drive course. So he's going to come into position behind the first waypoint here. And then he will unfold and he will head on out, out as well. And off he goes. Marvellous. Alright, so it shouldn't take, I mean it'll take a while because they're only going at 15 kilometres an hour, but uh, instead of using an 8 metre culti plough, they're going to do this a, a lot quicker using an 18 metre. So uh, effectively it'll be well over double what we'd be doing if we're using the culti ploughs we've been using primarily before this. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to go down and grab the John Deere, which we left in the middle of the road, down here. Uh, what we will do, since we're fairly close, we'll just check in on the uh, cotton harvesters, the staff that are running those, just to make sure all that's running well. So we've brought a few more of our cotton modules up here to the north of the field now. So I think there's about 11, 11 or 12 up here now. Uh, 369, there's 11 there. And uh, these guys here are well and truly getting through these fields. This guy here is just reversing up, ready to do his southerly track. The other guy's just done his turn. So we're at 64%, 58%, 53%. So um, they'll be offloading some cotton modules again soon. We are still experiencing some problems with them at the turns. Uh, it is primarily just because the turns are so sharp, I believe. Um, and there's probably not much we can do about that, so we just need to check on check in on them quite regularly. All right, so we're going to take the John Deere back up to the farm and uh, see what else we need to get done. We do need to actually wash a bit of the equipment that's up here as well, so we might do some of that. And then we're going to have to uh, go to bed relatively soon. So um, in fact, what we will do is we'll just forward time just a little bit, put it back on five times. And uh, and we'll probably yeah I think we'll do a uh, oh. pardon me yes I've just yawned so therefore we will have to go to sleep because we are tired already all right so this field over here to our left I believe was going to be a cotton field as well so we're going to have plenty of cotton now I think cotton might be our big money maker for the moment. Um, Certainly our, our normal crops aren't quite as uh, profitable as the cotton seems to be, but um, we'll do an assessment of that once we finish this field. Depends on how much money we make from this field. So, as in field nine. <laughs> but in saying that, we've also got uh, the new field we bought, field 14, that's got cotton on it. So effectively we've got three fields um, running cotton at the moment. And uh, I don't see any reason why we'll actually probably stop that. Well, I think we'll probably keep those running cotton uh, for the moment because um, I think it's probably quite a good crop to do. A little bit different. We're not using the same combines, all that sort of stuff. A little bit of variation. Otherwise, much of these fields end up looking and, and acting pretty much the same. So what we're going to do is we are going to head on up and go to the farmhouse. We're going to park the John Deere near the farmhouse and then uh, we are going to go to bed. And then uh, we'll get up early in the morning and hopefully our workers go straight back to work. And we should uh, continue on from there. All the workers' caravans all sitting around here. Copy through the brush. <clears throat> All right. I'll shut him down. Let's have a quick 
quick look at our handiwork over here. Phase one, or stage one is complete, as we've said previously. So uh, that's looking mighty fine over there. We've got uh, our seven chicken coops. Got some uh, bale sitting over here, which we can get rid of at some point as well. Uh, hangover from uh, one of the early harvests we did. But um, that's looking quite nice through there. So it'll be interesting to see what gets done here in stage two. But uh, all I can tell you is it's not going to be chickens. All right, what we're going to do now is we're just going to take a seat here and we're going to have a bit of a sleep and uh, see how things are in the morning. All right, there we go. So we had a good night's sleep. Weather looks okay for the day. A little bit of cloud around. But uh, we should be okay for another day of working here on the farm. All right, we're coming in here, grab the John Deere. Then we're going to take the go pick up the Horsch Pronto Cedars uh, and go give them a, a quick wash. That will be the first task for the day. So obviously, I hope everyone is doing really well today. Um, this has been recorded first weekend in April. Uh, you will see this probably the weekend after, around the 14th, uh, give or take. But um, we are trying to get back on track and get some uh, some videos recorded and, and get out there and all that sort of stuff. We've uh, been having a busy time of, uh, of our real life at the moment. But... Um, we will try and get there. <clears throat> All right, so we'll take this one over first. And give him a quick wash. Probably give the John Deere a wash too, by the look of it. Looking a bit dirty itself. Uh, and we've also got the Breedle over here ready to be washed as well. We didn't wash that yesterday like we meant to. So we'll give that a quick clean as well. Someone's left the Manitou out there in the middle of the, uh, the yard, which we need to put away as well. All right, I'm going to squeeze this guy in here. All right. And then we're going to grab the pressure cleaner. We'll give the class a good wash. It's the priority out of the tractors that are here. Tractors that are here. <clears throat> Got to make sure the class is looking quite nice. Actually, on a totally separate note, um, I noticed yesterday on our TV here uh, advertising a new company with some uh, oil lubricants and stuff like that. And uh, the good part was they were showing some farmyard stuff and it was full of class equipment. So there was a class Lexian combine and a couple of class Axion tractors and uh, that was wonderful to see. So uh, for those of you who aren't aware, I'm a bit of a class fan if you haven't sort of caught onto that already. Not a big JD fan, that's for sure. In fact, uh, I'd, I'd much rather see a class on the farm than a JD. But uh, that's it. That's all I'm going to say about that for the moment. All right. That looks nice and clean. Give this uh, Pronto over here a bit of a clean. Probably needs a bit of maintenance too. It's done a couple of fields now, so it probably needs to uh, have a bit of a going over that's looking pretty good to me and we'll give this thing a clean as well too much dirt on it it'll probably break down so we need to make sure that it's uh, kept clean alright there you go Bob's your uncle Right, so first thing we'll do is we'll take the uh, the class out of the way. <clears throat> we don't want the uh, the John Deere going near it and and uh, infecting it in any way, shape, or form. So we're just going to pump the class and the breedle here in this shed for now. like so all right now our 
staff are heading off. They're busy at work down in uh, field nine. So you can see our cotton modules there. My other harvesters, one's at about to go to 80%, the other one 73%, the other one at 66%. So we are going to uh, take this guy out and we'll put him away in one of the sheds and then uh, collect the other two and get them cleaned up as well. And we also have the other two hired workers there actually busily cultivating field, what was it, 13, 14, no, 13. Whichever one it was. The one that we limed yet in the last episode. So uh, they've been a little bit busy. A little bit too far out there. All right, so that one there is done. I'll probably take this class and the Pronto over on their own. <clears throat> Give them a wash. New Holland probably needs a wash as well. Been a bit slack in relation to uh, maintenance of the equipment. <clears throat> That's okay. It's possibly a little bit overcast over there, actually. Maybe it's just a dull morning, that's all. Alright. Stuff left everywhere. This is a culty plow there as well. Alright. Bring the John Deere in. Leave him there. Okay. Ponto, good, good clean. All tasks that we need to do at the farm while we're at the farm, obviously. Doesn't need to be perfect though. It is a working uh, utility after all. There we go. Jump back in the John Deere. Take this guy over, then we'll bring the class over with the other Pronto. And then at least we know that all of our cedars are cleaned and pretty much ready to go again if we need to. All right, so bring him round. Park him right next to the other one. Overshot a little bit again. All right, I'll just leave the John Deere there. I'm gonna go on over, grab the Azerion here. Go give that a good clean, because Azerion definitely needs a good clean. Can't have that looking like that, can we? Down, jump out, and we'll give the class a good clean. Ah, looking much better. All right, and we'll give the pronto a clean. Cotton harvesters are at 86, 80, and 74. So they should be uh, dropping off another module very soon. We can probably head over there and collect those. All right, so we'll take this last cedar over, park this one in the shed as well, and uh, we'll go and check out, see what's going on around the farm. Oh, well, there you go. One of them has actually finished altogether. So he's going to have a partial bail. That's okay. It is what it is. Alright, let's go off and have a bit of a look-see. 
take the class out. We're going to check on what the two are doing in the other field where we're cultivating. And then we'll go down and check on the cotton harvest. We'll take this thing over because it's a lot quicker. Uh, quicker than the John Deere. Not as quick as one of the trucks, but that's okay. We'll get there quickly enough. That stop sign ends up being a casualty every day. That's why it's on a bit of a lean. It's lucky to stay standing at all after a day or so. We're gonna head on up here and have a look and see how these guys are going. They should hopefully have at least done one circumference of the field by now. So done one header row. But we'll see exactly what's happening up here. Mm, seems like, no, they haven't done a header row yet. Well, let's go see where they are. Well, here they come. Almost done a header row. They're just coming around the corner here. There we go. Coming around there nicely. And our trailing unit is down here. So it's not a small job, so uh, that's okay. We're just going to leave them to it. They're doing okay. And they'll continue on to cultivate that field. So once they've done this header row, they've got one more header to do. And then they'll commence basically filling in the rest of the field. So uh, they're doing a good job there. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to head back down and check on the cotton harvesters. <clears throat> So we haven't really got a lot to do at the moment while these uh, these guys are busy working. Um, what have we got? So, the guy that's finished looks like he's at 86%. That's almost a full cotton module. The other two are continuing on. They'll probably have at least another... I think they'll probably drop another module after they finish this one and then that will be part modules for them as well. But we'll have a look and see. As you can see, the uh, the cotton over here is grown in the next growth stage. So uh, that won't be too far off being ready either. But uh, we'll down here and see what these guys are doing. And that'll be pretty much this episode. It's, uh, it goes pretty quick. So we have to uh, check and see what these guys are doing. And then we'll can come back and that field should hopefully be finished so the next episode will be certainly tidying up that field removing all of our cotton modules and selling them and then we'll be looking at uh, repurposing that field ready to go now one of the things we have been toying with is whether we're going to actually put any sheep or anything in we haven't decided on that no that's not part of stage two of our construction work but what we do need to do is work out whether or not we are going to put any sheep or anything in uh, and if we are to do that, we need to have a field of grass. So um, something to think about over the next uh, next couple of episodes to work out exactly what we are going to do with that. All right. So now we're back into the field nine where we're doing the cotton harvest. So this is the guy over here that's actually finished by the look of it. So the other guys have still got to catch up and get all this done which they're continuing on with. So they're at 88% and 81%. So what we might actually do is we might just jump in here and we'll stop the driver. But what we'll do is we'll turn off the course play window. Whoops, wrong button. And what we will actually do is we'll just manually do these couple of sections here and see if we can uh, get a full module. So that's what we're going to finish off with. So when we come back in the next episode, as we said, 
we would hopefully have this cotton field all but complete we'll gather up our cotton modules work out how many we've got from the field we'll go off and sell them and see how much money we've made and then depending on that money we'll we'll start working with our chicken coops get some chickens going and we'll look at uh, repurposing the field getting it plowed fertilized all that sort of stuff and uh, replanting some cotton because I'm pretty sure cotton is what we're going to run in this field yet again so that is it for this episode and uh, so we will see you on the flip side so thanks so much for watching as always if you like the episode press the like button if you didn't like the episode press the dislike button and if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to press that alarm notification icon so as you are reminded as to when new videos are available on the channel until next time, this is Duck Sawley signing off from Duck Sawley Gaming, wishing you a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening or night, no matter where you are in the world. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Sawley Gaming. See you all later. Bye.